are you going to be uh, in the defense a lot? You know. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. I know that I'm just gonna, you know, for a little bit, just get my body right, get some plays in, and just get acclimated. You know, I miss all training camps, so um, just getting some of that going. In that week we saw you in camp, you, you see me playing at a high level. How do you pick that up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How do you pick up at that level right away? I think it's just, you know, just getting reps again, um, getting out there with the guys, um, being able to go through, even, even with the walkthroughs, just mentally being there, being in the in each play. Um, and just, just like I said, just playing, being in practice and just being able to pick up where I left off. You're a special teams captain, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's That's been your big role these past mm -hmm. few years. You said you wanted to take on a bigger defensive role. How do you balance the yeah. two? Um, you know, that's the big question right now, but, um, you know, it's just, I think as a special teams captain, you got to just kind of just help the, help the younger guys, um, you know, help, help, uh, fit with the coordination stuff, just help him whatever he needs help with and, um, be able to help with whatever role they want me in. Obviously you're not going to go out there and play 70 plays. Yeah. Um, is it going to be constant communication between you and the coaches as far as how you're feeling after you get yeah. some reps? Yeah. I think, you know, for, uh, just kind of going into it, like I said earlier, they're just going to get my body used to a couple of things, get me a couple of plays and stuff, and it'll just go from there. Not the easiest way to cut, ease your way back in with Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, side. yeah, I know, right? Uh, definitely going to have to be running a lot, but I mean, I'm excited for this game. I'm excited for what the team's going to do, and um, we're, you know, we kind of been having a rocky, rocky road, but we're going to be, we're excited to pick up again. What's it, what does it mean for you to be coming back in at such a pivotal time with the team losing two straight games? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Um, just, I'm just first and foremost happy to even be back, you know what I mean? And just I was going going crazy on the sidelines by myself. So um, to be back with them again and um, be out there with the guys is huge for me. What's the mindset of the team? Seems like guys are frustrated, upset coming off the two straight losses. Yeah, I mean, we're uh, excited about this opportunity. Obviously, one and two, not where we thought we would be, not where we want to be. But um, still 13 games to go. The season hasn't been decided by any means. I'm um, just excited to get out there Thursday. Zach, I want to ask you about Mike Patton's defense. Yeah. There's a lot of DB-heavy packages. Yeah. What kind of problems does that present for, for an offense? Or? Yeah. Uh, obviously, they do a lot of stuff. When you got a lot of DBs on the field, you're able to disguise things that most of the time you're not going to be able to disguise because you don't want some of those bigger linebackers being put in certain situations. Um, also, from a from a protection standpoint, you got to be on cue about who who's going to who each and every time because there's so many different options that they're able to where they're able to bring protections from or I should say blitzes from and whatnot. So um, we, we got to be on our stuff, especially um, in in the pass protection side of things. Um, and obviously, if they're going to go a lot of DBs early in the game, hopefully we'll be able to establish the run. I don't know what Dallas' uh, situation is, but obviously 12 personnel is, is a good remedy for, for a team that wants to put six, seven uh, DBs out there. It works. I mean, hopefully, I don't know what the plan is with Dallas. Uh, I'm sure everyone will find out come game time, and uh, we're excited if he'll be able to play. There's been a lot of talk about the self-inflicted mistakes, self-inflicted wounds. Yeah. This offense as a whole, how can you make those corrections so quickly with such an uh, yeah, just focus on the small details. Obviously, um, focus on catching the football. First and foremost, uh, don't try and run before you have the ball. Uh, I think that's a big thing. Uh, ball security, obviously, just a point of emphasis. It always is, but you can't go out there and kind of uh, paralyze yourself and overthink it either. So we just got to go out there and play like ourselves. Don't play too tight um, and just go out there and execute because we got talent on offense. Uh, we just got to play for four quarters. A lot of being made of the fact that a lot of these Thursday night a lot of these Thursday night games. What's been sort of the secret to some of the success, especially on the road with some of these guys? Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, we've been on the road five out of my seven years, so I think the NFL should look at that for sure. Um, but we just try and execute. I mean, we've got so many plays installed that we don't need a ton of reps at them because it started, I think, April 16th, we started installing the plays that uh, we install so many plays in the spring and the summer that you don't need a ton of reps at them because we already have that bank of reps uh, in the spring and the summer. So I think that's a big advantage for us. Um, and then just come down to execution. I mean, we got a lot of talent, a lot of, I think everyone's got a lot of confidence in the guys that are going to be, uh, be playing Thursday night, and it's going to be a big game for us. A lot is being made of the fact that you guys didn't really spend time watching the tape and, you know, it's not being hammered home, like catch the ball, stuff like that. Do you guys need to hear that, or is that pretty obvious being pros that, you know, those mistakes can't happen? I mean, I think if you play receiver tight end in the NFL and you have a drop, the coaches don't need to tell you. I mean, you expect to catch the ball. I expect to be 100% target to completions. 
And um, if it's anything less, it's not acceptable in my eyes. I know a lot of the receivers feel the same way. Um, and we all know what happened last Sunday. Uh, you can't dwell on it for too long when you got to install a full game plan for Thursday night. Um, you just got to, um, I think, just put it behind you, flush it, and, and focus on the Packers. Because if we focus on the Lions too much, we're not going to win this one. That's all that matters right now is trying to find a way to win this one. What's the biggest differences that strike you between this offense and the old one under McCarthy? Uh, I mean, it's hard to hard to tell this early in the season. Um, um, not much. I mean, Aaron Rodgers wants to do what he you know what he wants to do. I think a lot more um, of the two back runs, and I think the running game is probably a little bit more different than um, McCarthy, but. You know, probably a little bit too much for, for me to tell right now uh, this early in the season. Did there seem to be any less risk taking? Uh, I mean, he didn't have any interceptions yet, although he wasn't a big interception thrower anyway. But, right. Uh, they just seem to value uh, uh, not making dumb mistakes and, you know, and, and giving the other team field position. Like, like maybe they weren't as. Uh, you don't see that. So. No, I don't see it. I mean, it, I turned on the tape, it just seemed pretty efficient to me, you know. Uh, yeah. You know, there's still he still likes to throw, you know, quick slants and, and advantage throws. If you're not covering, you know, if you're not covering all three receivers, you're gonna throw it out there. If you know, if you stack up the box, you're gonna throw it outside. Um, can put itself, you know, can put the team into, you know, great runs. They can still get empty and get rid of the ball. Uh, he's still throwing the ball from crazy angles. Yeah. You know, it's just when you watch the tape, you know, teams that hit him had a little bit of success, teams that didn't. He's Aaron Rodgers. They've been moving Adams around more than in the past, haven't they? Yeah. He's been playing some slots, some outside, everywhere. Yeah. yeah, they put him, you know, you move him around, you get him in the matchup that you want, yeah. you know, and take some advantage of it. He you has a crazy ground. number of free play touchdowns. You saw that on the mm -hmm. tape last week. Yeah. Is that an alert for the defense that the flag's there? Make sure the guys aren't, aren't going past you? Yeah, I mean, they, those things you know when you play the Packers. You're probably going to jump off sides at least once in the, in the game. And when you do, the ball is going to the back end of the field. So, um, you know, I think everybody can call it really hard to stop them. <laughs> you guys are going to have Rasul, Sidney, and Avante, kind of what you had for most of the training camp. Mm -hmm. Is it easy to recall from basically that month of playing with those guys? Uh, our defense is not about to change. I don't, I don't care if you went out there and played corner. I think that would change some things. <laughs> Maybe. We might roll to you a little bit. But, uh, you know. You said what? <laughs> I mean, for us, uh, I don't. There's not going to be anything dif different about what we do. Um, yeah. So, no, I don't have to even remember what training camp looked like because it doesn't matter. Since D Doug took over as head coach, you guys are perfect three and zero on Thursday night football. Anything that he's done to get you guys in the right mindset or? Um, no, nah, I think I think that if anything. Uh, I think we just do a good job between the coaches and the leadership, which is blocking out all the distractions, not making excuses about, you know, being sore or tired. Uh, Doug does a good job of keeping, you know, giving us opportunity to get our bodies back. Um, and, and, you know, we reciprocate that with focusing in on the walkthroughs and the meetings, to make sure that with the, with the limited time that we get as much of the game plan digested as possible to be able to give ourselves a chance to go execute. What, what is the mindset of the team? I mean, do you guys look at this as a, as a must win? I mean, even though it's... Man, it's our next season. game. At the end of the day, we play football for a living. And I enjoy playing football. So this is an opportunity for us as a team to just go have some fun. What's that Rogers notebook like? Is it... Um, it don't matter what I write in my book about them. <laughs> <laughs> the man's been doing it for... There's a lot of people with books on Rogers, and it don't work. Um, and so really it's collectively, you know, we got to be able to get some pressure on them. Um, we know that ball's going to come out quick and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, you know, he's, he's very, very accurate, especially when he's clean. Um, so if we want to be able to, you know, get a chance of taking the ball away or, or forcing a mistake, that's going, that's going to have to come with some kind of pressure. He's a veteran. It's not like we're going to confuse him with coverage. It's not like, you know, he's not going to, he can't see the field. Um, if the guy's open, he's going to find it, and it's going to be in a spot where, you know, you can't get to it uh, unless you do something to affect that. What's it been like having Rodney back with you uh, in the backfield? I know his role is kind of a little different than years past, but still, sure. what's it like having him back alongside you again? No, I mean, it's been great. I mean, I think he's, he's one of the guys that's been jumping off the tape. Um, 
I think he's been up there. If I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he's our leading tackler. I don't know for sure, but um, I feel like he's flying around. He's making plays. It obviously helps us get lined up a lot. Um, and when I'm playing a, a ton of different positions, it helps to have another voice out there that can calm guys down. Um, and even sometimes, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, because sometimes I get <laughs> crossed up a little bit. Um, but no, nah, I think, you know, for, for us as a whole defense, um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a different deal having him out there. No, I don't really get, get nervous or anything as far as the stage. You know? But with like the, the scrutiny and you know, having so much attention on you, do you feel like that you know you were prepared for this week? You know after Sunday. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, like I said, everybody's everybody's not perfect. I mean, everybody goes through stuff. Even even the vets, you know, they 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 have bad games. So it's, you just gotta keep moving on, keep getting better each week. What was uh, Doug's messaging to get you guys kind of in the right frame of mind uh, on the short week? Uh, like I said. Uh, I mean, we don't, we don't have a choice but to really move on. I mean, because we can't feel sorry for ourselves, and the next team is not going to feel sorry for us. So just got to lock in and get, another, get a W. Hey, Miles, you mentioned Green Bay a little bit. They've been using a lot of heavy D back packages, six, seven at times. Is that exciting for a running back to think maybe you can get in the open field against some defensive backs? Yeah, uh, hopefully. Uh, the, uh, we're going to see. Um, we, we know they like to put a lot of DBs out there. Um, and like give different looks and stuff as far as like blitzes and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're ready for it and we'll see on Thursday. What have the vets told you about bouncing back, uh, especially on such a short week? Um, just be making sure your body's right. Uh, mental, have it getting good mental reps and just making sure your body's right. That passing ability, the pass catch ability with those verticals, throws, we, we didn't really see a lot of that at Penn State. So what's it like when you're able to bring that to the offense as well? Uh, just happy to really use my abilities to help the team win. So I'm, I'm happy to be used in different ways and show my different uh, abilities. So yeah, it's exciting. Uh, Coach Grow spoke a short time ago and he said, you know, with some of your talent, we're going to let you go through the growing pains. Mm -hmm. How important is that for you as a young player that the coaches have that confidence in you to let you go through the ups and downs? It's good uh, that for them to have to trust in me. It allows me to trust them more and really uh, build my confidence up more. So uh, like I said, though, I'm going to keep continuing making sure I get better each week, uh, every day. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it feels good just knowing that the whole team have my back. Coach uh, Peterson said, not really looking back at the Lions game, it's all looking ahead to the Packers. How important is that for the guys in the locker room to just look ahead and not dwell too much on what happened on Sunday? Oh yeah, I mean, you gotta have a short memory if you wanna play in this game. Um, I mean, as professionals, as you know, kids from, from age one to my age, you know, we're all gonna make mistakes. Um, the difference that between a good, good, decent, and great players is how fast you can recover, um, how fast you can flush the mistakes and just keep pushing forward. Have the vets offered any encouraging advice in the last couple of days? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, everybody says, you know, keep your head up, you know, this and that, but we're focused on Green Bay and uh, moving forward, that's, that's what we're gonna focus on. How challenging is it to correct those mistakes when you're not really looking back at the last game? I mean, you know, you, you go over, you get, you know, you have your short period of time of, uh, you know, identifying what you, you know, messed up on or the mistakes that were made. You correct them then and there, and then you move forward. I mean, you know, we're all here um, for one common purpose, and that's just to win games. So, um, you know, the less you can dwell on the past and learn from it, the better you'll be in the future. Hey, so you popped up on the injury report yesterday with the heel uh, issue. Um, mm -hmm. Is that okay now, or how did that happen? Yeah, I mean that's a that's a day to day thing. Um, not, not really serious. Uh, um, could tell you, wish I could tell you how it happened. Uh, you know, we're out there running around, adrenaline's pumping, you don't feel anything. Um, then you know, after the game, obviously that's when the soreness, the soreness, stiffness comes in. So um, yeah, we're progressing on it. What's it been like uh, getting to know Mac Collins? He, he described himself as a quirky guy. I mean, what, mm. what's, what's he like behind the scenes? What, what, how do you describe him, I guess? Oh, yeah, he's awesome. I mean, he's been a very big help to me. Um, but, you know, he always, he's always positive. He always brings great energy to, to the room, to the field. Um, so, yeah, no, he's just a great guy to have, have around. Have you seen his snakes? I have. I actually got the whole one of them. Really? Yeah. What was that like? I mean, they're big. <laughs> they're pretty big. But, uh, yeah, no, he's uh, definitely – Awesome guy. Does, does that say, like, is that his personality, a guy, kind of guy that would have snakes Snake. and, like, that's just normal for him? Yeah. I mean, you know, he, <laughs> Mac is definitely one of the one of the guys. Um, 
that's different in a in a in the greatest way yeah. possible. Um, I mean, you know, he does things and goes about things differently than you think most people would, and you know, that's that's why you know we 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 see him as such a great guy because you know, you know, he's he's not afraid to step out he's of the box. Being, he's being himself. So yeah, I mean, you know, most guys have dogs, cats, whatever. He has snakes, you know, because why not? Yeah, JJ, um, you know. It was just on Friday that the injury list was put out and Alshon was on it. He was listed as questionable. He was a game time decision on just Sunday. So I would imagine he's closer to going. I'm not asking whether you know or not, but if he's able to play, what kind of lift would he provide this offense? I mean, you know, he's Alshon. Um, yeah, really, anybody that steps on the field in this locker room is going to help um, in, you know, in any way because, you know, everybody here for a reason. Um, so, you know, and he, he's locked in, you know, he's focused uh, as always. Um, and, you know, just having him around, you know, as a teammate and as, uh, and as a friend, you know, it's, all, it's always good. You got any response and text encouragement, anything after Sunday from folks, people at home, people close to any of that kind of stuff? Or what's been the reaction to what happened Sunday? I mean, yeah, we got a lot of texts, calls, but, you know, um, like I said earlier, you know, to, to be great in this profession, you got to have a short memory and keep pushing forward. And, you know, obviously wish you could take it back. Um, I bet everybody has a moment in which they could take back. But, you know, the reality of it is it's not going to happen like that. So the faster you can flush it and keep pushing forward, the, the better you'll be. Excited to play in Lambo? Oh, yeah, I've heard so much about it. But, I mean, you know, we're going in there for one reason. Playing against him, uh, Sydney said he never played against him. Was a guy you watched growing up. Right? You the same way? Did you watch him? Yeah, I mean I've never played against him, but I watched him. Impressions. Uh, he can do everything. Uh, he's better on the run. Most guy, most quarterbacks aren't good on the run, but he can throw a 75-yard dime on the run. So he's got to just stay after him. Uh, he makes a lot of plays, just moving around, slipping guys. And his receivers do a good job of just getting open. With how he buys time, how aware do you guys have to be in the back end that the play could last for 15 seconds sometimes? Yeah, uh, we just gotta hope, get him down as fast as we can, because no one, I mean, none of the DBs, we want, we don't want to cover for 10 seconds. It doesn't matter who it is, we don't want to cover you guys for 10 seconds. So uh, we just gotta, if we get a chance to take him down, we gotta take him down. You guys are three and zero. And on Thursday Night Football and the time that you've been here. I was talking about the season, I was about to say. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Close, close to that, but what, what has Doug been able to get you guys oh, ready in such a short time frame with, with that quick turnaround? Um, just taking care of us. Uh, Doug does a good job of just taking care of our bodies. He knows well, we go out and give everything we got, uh, so we might be a little banged up coming in, a lot of quick turnaround, so he do a lot of things more mental than uh, physical.